Busy girls, how you doing? Let's do another pick a card and today is gonna be what as a Heidi. Uh, pick a card that can be a little bit triggering. Let's just stay cool, okay? It's tarot, it's a tool, it doesn't have to be accurate 100% for everybody. So, you know, just keep it cool. <laughs> It's easy to say, Excel. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, so now we have two pounds, three cards, and then we develop, of course, and we have more details. Okay, so what are they hiding? One, two, one, two. Okay, so pound number one, what are they hiding? Seven of Cups, the Fool, Knight of Sword. Well, they're not hiding per se. No. They're actually procrastinating. They're not doing much, that's the thing. So, of course, when someone is a bit quiet, we start, you know, imagining things and trying to understand the why. Okay. And, of course, you know, the mind is going like, ooh, uh, when there's nothing. Maybe sometimes people just don't think particularly. They just chill. They just relax. And maybe as well, they dream. Just because someone is quiet doesn't mean that preparing some kind of coup. <laughs> so, yes, what they not, I mean, they're hiding is not properly hiding. They actually, if they have to prepare something, is to move them forward towards you. But otherwise, they're kind of procrastinating. They're just, you know, minding their own business and maybe organizing in their mind how they could approach because... What they're hiding is that they want to move toward you. Maybe they want to move towards the next level with you. They maybe realize as well they have been a bit of a fool. They've been a bit silly. The thing is, because they pose and they had some time to uh, reflect, they have time to appreciate. Oh, okay, maybe what I say, what I did wasn't the most, you know, uh, I mean, interesting things to do, but never mind. At the end of the day, what they're going to do is moving towards you. They don't need to have the all manual, a PhD about it. They just know that they want to move forward. Okay. And it's like now. It's really quick. It's fast. It's, you know, fast and furious in some ways. They just want to talk to you. They thought about it long enough, long and hard, and they really need to get into action. Communication is key. Totally. So if you feel like nothing has been happening, it's been they've been a bit quiet uh, or quieter, um, don't start to have your imagination going wild because you know you have no idea <laughs> how quickly our mind can go sometimes and we can just like woo travel the world and worry when there's nothing really. What they actually want to do as well and is really getting with that same idea is you know entering a new phase. The eight of ones is, yes, a lot of communication, a lot of movement forward, is a lot of vavavoom as well, but it's an idea of surfing a new wave and is very focused, it's very focused on this. It's really one way only and the four is the same thing. It's really pushing to the next level. Yes, because what they think is that you are ticking all the boxes. So what they're hiding is like how much they do care about you as well. Not only the movement forward very soon to the next level, maybe moving in together, maybe getting engaged, maybe, you know, traveling the world. I mean, if you can <laughs> with the pandemic, but at the end of the day, it's like, wow, you are exactly what uh, I could actually hope for in my life. The very best. You are everything I could dream of. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank God I have you in the middle of that madness. I know you here in my world. Magnificent. And if you really think about it, you feel the same. You just need to balance the emotion. So if you think, why are they hiding? They're not hiding anything. So chillax. That's what it is. Really, there's nothing here to be concerned about. They want to go to the next level with you. Is that something bad? No. Quite the opposite, I would say. Okay, so that was part number one. Interesting. So they're not hiding anything. They're just preparing for the next level with you. Mm -hmm. So part number two, why are they hiding? Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. Interesting indeed. So why are they hiding? Well, let's get that straight. They perceive you as someone very long term. They don't perceive you. Perceive you. <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> Never mind. Um, 
okay, they see you, let's put it that way, um, as someone very grounded, very together, um, you know, trustworthy, truthful, um, earthy energy and long term. They don't see you as a little bit of a woman that buy, see you maybe, you know, whatever. Not that we do that kind of thing, obviously. No, but you see what I mean, very grounded. So what they're hiding is, they may have not told you, may have not told you, sorry, in English would be so lovely, <laughs> mm. uh, that they see you from day one as a final destination. Oh my goodness, did you know that? And you actually, I think you think the same, <laughs> the same as well about them. Interesting. You don't have a clue how to make this work, both of you, but you know this is my person. Maybe, you know, um, they were stuck with someone else. Let's not forget this three. So it could be a third party as well in some ways. And maybe when they met you, they were not available. But they definitely see you as a final destination. And you are spectacular. Mm -mm -mm. Let's not forget number three, the pyramid number. I think you can see them here. Yeah, it's a very powerful number. It's really anchored. The pyramid ain't going anywhere. Seriously. So very powerful. Okay, so what they're hiding is that they maybe feel like either they or you give too much in that relationship and there needs to be more balance. What they also might be hiding is that they need to let go of something or someone else. Maybe they were in a relationship with somebody else and they feel it's like a heavy weight on their shoulder. Maybe they haven't told you that and they know that it has to be talked about. Um, maybe they have a lot of responsibility, maybe they take too much responsibility uh, and maybe as well they care for too many people and they may be not giving enough time to this relationship. But what they're hiding is maybe that awareness like I need to do something about it, I need to put myself first and if there's someone else in the picture they have to go. If they work too much spend too many hours at work, they have to rebalance. Something has to give. Because after the Ten of Wands, inevitably you have the Ace of Wands with a brand new beginning, with an energy, the fire in the belly. Let's go, let's do this. It's a new start, it's a new beginning. So they know in order to have a new chapter in their life, they need to drop something else. Right, so I have to say, oh, Axel, what are you gonna share? <laughs> You were going so well. <laughs> well, it could be as well that they met someone, then they know they have to be the final destination with them and they have to drop you. So we're going to get into more details anyway before we go any further on that route. But I have to cover every angle because, you know, what I'm saying, <clears throat> right. So there's an idea of brand new beginning. Okay, so in my opinion, I will say more about the first version. Like they know from day one that you are the person, but maybe the timing was off. Maybe they were with someone else or they were focused on other things and knew, but now the timing is perfect. So they can definitely give you a brand new start because they always saw you from day one as that person very anchored and long term. So they, would, they didn't want to treat you as a mistress or a lover. They wanted, male, female, doesn't matter, right? They wanted to treat you as the one, okay? So, hmm, yes, I do think that there is something. They're hiding something. They're hiding the truth. They're hiding the true feeling, the true emotion. They're running away from the truth. Yes, maybe for a long time they were not available, but they maybe told you they were. And now, wow, okay, uh, no, it's not going to work the way I thought. I need to come clean and I have, I have to say what I feel. Could it be that they have someone else and you are the main person and you don't know about this? Well, one way or another, you're going to cut them off. That is for sure. So in my opinion, yes. What they say is they're going to, I mean, what they're hiding is they're going to have to cut off or you're going to cut off as a result. Someone is going to cut off something here because that can, that is not sustainable. Yeah, there is a, I mean, there's definitely a decision to make between two. Yes, I will say that if they stay where they are, they're bored to death, but you are more that new chapter in their life and they want a brand new beginning with you. They met you, I think, in the wrong time the timing was off because it was with someone else still. 
I would more I would go more into that direction personally with the vibe and the feeling I'm not trying to be cool but what I'm saying is I feel more like this like you are the new person but let's keep an open mind you could be the person that is like already within the connection but there is a temptation someone else healing has to happen um, I think obviously it's a deep issue from a past relationship from a childhood trauma it has to be something that need to be looked into maybe taking a term time off as well time out i should say and rest recover and regroup yeah i think they stay in that relationship because they thought they that's all they deserved you were the one at the top of the mountain but they thought no i'm staying put so they didn't want to move so they didn't want to actually drop you know because that that heavy weight but they could see the castle they could see the pyramid it's the same story they took a long time to actually make that decision but they're finally making it that's why they were hiding yeah because now they want to offer you equal give and take six of pentacles and it's pure love as long term it goes very well with the queen of pentacles so that's why i'm going to stick to my version the first version saying that you came into their life they were with someone else they realized holy mother of god this is not just a bit of a vome series. I had to make a decision. I have to drop someone else, the first person I was with, in order to be with you. That's my vibe. For few of you, that could be that you are the person they are with, but they have their eyes on someone else. Oopsie. Okay, on this note, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.